Good evening. I'm Lori Dean Terrell, Executive Director of Just Buffalo Literary Center, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to tonight's season finale of Babel. Yay! <laughs> and this is one of the gems um, in our city of those events. And with its focus on international authors, it's a perfect partner for HSBC, whose presence can be found in 83 countries around. And see what we are truly capable of on both sides. The intensity of that confrontation is the only gift the writer has to offer, the only redemption that is possible in the end. And perhaps this is why human beings are made of awe, because we always attempt to juggle this dialectic, to wrestle with the fact that every intervention in the world requires judgment, and that judgment by its very nature conjures up the specter of shame and that between these two things so far, the only language we have of defining ourselves does violence to another. Epigraph. Like a piece of ice on a hot stove, the poem must ride on its own melting. Robert Frost. We have wrestled with the question of our humanity since the first human pointed to a star and saw that his or her finger was not connected to the night sky. Our humanity, this humanness, is something we cannot fully define. What, what we often think of as our humanity is often just the facade or the masks of identity that we hide behind. And there are so many of these that we lay upon whatever is human about us so that we can be seen in the world only the ways we want to be seen. I think we can all agree that even though we don't know exactly what this humanness is, we know that being human the process itself forces us to release these masks. Masks we believe we cannot live without, even though we know deep inside that we all hate being measured by them. Even as we realize it is impossible to go on living behind them. These masks have many names, but share similar archetypal origins regardless of where in the world we come from. Nation, race, fear, hate, Pain. I don't have 